now I'm going to focus on this chair. I went from the restaurant chair to this one. Look at that oak. It's so beautiful, but full of bird shit. But we're going to take care of this baby. I'm going to spray paint the bottom. And I separated the top from the bottom. So I have accessibility to the back. I'm also going to paint the back black. Well, we might use a black stain. That gives me an idea. I'll just stain the whole mofo. But I'm going to introduce you to a tool I'm using. It's called an orbital. The thing about an orbital is this. It's constantly move. Do not repeat. Do not stop. Because you could cause cupping damage to the wood and now i'm gonna go and we're gonna start orbiting it bitch and i'm gonna show you how you need to watch and learn don't think you know what you're doing this took years of experience <laughs> but I am concerned. I did hit, well, I don't know why they did it. I might take it off a veneer like, or maybe a thin stock. It's a thin stock, it's not a veneer. It's a thin stock. Why they did that, I why not make it bigger? Da, da, da. Stupid. But I think with the black stain, it'll be fine. It might even enhance it. I'll just sand the sides and hope for the best. But look at what an orbital can do. I do have stainage. But this black stain I'm going to use. They say black is beautiful, baby. We'll blend it in, I, I hope. Well, I'm going to go along the roads with it again. I'm going to get this bad boy down all the way. I just did have to show you the power of an orbital. They're very, very, and look, I didn't even use much. They're very, very powerful. So when you're using an orbital, always move up and down, baby, like your bitches. <laughs> 